Hans Club Place, we're based on Waterloo Country. Welcome to Back to Back Video 1. And today, guys, yeah, so I'm about to show you through the studio space of Back to Back Video here. This is actually so where we are, so where we work, live, play. And here's some of so some of the speeders. Hard at work today. Good on, so today's Wednesday, and we're just hard at work. And here is so the green room. And so that is so my colleague Bruce Grallen, who's um you know, so the artistic director, co-CEO of Back to Back Theatre. Back to Back Theatre show. Be people watch my show. I, 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 I heard that show. I don't family. Well, look, Scott and Fema. Mark should be liked removed, do you know that? Mm -hmm. He doesn't understand what is fiction and what is not. You think about it, right? Mark's mind is probably like, like working like a goldfish. Do you think of yourself as having the mind of a goldfish. <laughs> Mark, I don't care what some people think. You are unfit for this job. Now, I'm just trying to get us to the point where... I'm just trying to get Mark to stay a part of us. How come you're defending him? Why can't you just let him go? Right, that line, OK? Yeah. That's a good line. How come you're defending him? Why can't you just let him go? I want that yeah. in the script. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Actually, I want all of this in the script. The process really depends on the project and often we're, um, you know, we're making work that is trying to answer questions which are raised from a pre previous work. Um, so there's a set of questions around the content or around the form that we don't necessarily know the answers to. Uh, and so we go, the work is in fact an investigation. We want a scenario, like an evaluation and then we know it's good or not. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yep, it's um, so what you call the cutting room floor of, so, of theatre. We try and create a, a differing scale of work. So some work is small and intimate and other is spectacular and large. Uh, we've made work for outdoors, like small metal objects, which is made initially for a train station. Uh, where the audience sit in a seating tribune and watch the show with headphones and the actors are dispersed within the commuting public. Um, to works like Lady Eats Apple, which is made for the grand um, theatre houses of the world, where the audience sit on the stage and the, the actors are um, placed within the auditorium, within uh, the frame of a giant inflatable that fills the space of the theatre hall. Your father says he's concerned about you. Mm. Has he talked to you about this? No. Mm. Okay. About your personal space bubble? You and... Simon. Mm, bingo. I just so want to touch you. I don't want you to die until I die. Uh, you know, I think what joins all of these kind of eclectic works is uh, thematics. You know, we're interested in the dynamics of power and the machinations of power. I guess championing individual voices, voices that aren't normally heard to some degree. Each work is made in response to the previous work, but is also a reaction to the previous work, you know, to try and try and not cover the same territory. The shows that we make around mind, around words, around imagination. Remember, we should be up here to travelling alone. Don't bring any attention to yourself. Avoid conversation. I think audiences around the world connect with back-to-back -back because 
it challenges assumptions of what it is to be human. It challenges assumptions on how we relate to one another and to society more broadly, yet it is also incredibly connecting on a very human level. And I suppose it also reminds us all of our ordinariness. And that's what I've always loved about the company's work. She's fat. What, me or her? Yeah, her. Ultimately, we're trying to make something that is going to be this kind of profound transformational experience for the audience. Um, I know as an audience member myself, when I see theatre, if I'm kind of lulled into a certain state of being and then um, when I go to see the theatre and the theatre's taking place and I think it's one thing and it's conventional and, and then it somehow takes me on a journey that transforms me or transforms my perception or understanding not just of theatre, but of humanity. That's the experience that I want as an audience member. And as theatre makers, we're also trying to create um, that for our audiences. And a lot of that chemistry is based on, for us, about who the actors are. Um, you know, people will bring their own perceptions of who those actors are. I think sometimes audiences have an idea of going, all right, well, I'm going to see that company that has actors with intellectual disabilities or neurodiverse and to some degree will challenge that. Um, we'll challenge the idea of what uh, an actor is or who an actor is or who can be an actor or who can play in the big house, who can play in the grand theatre house of that city. Feel free to chat to Dr Holland because Dr Holland actually has Down syndrome. Mm, uh, I thought so but I didn't want to ask. Does the nurse have it? Oh, ask her. Nurse, do you have Down syndrome? Me? Yeah. Yeah, you. Do you have Down syndrome? Yeah. Yeah, she's got it. We bring our talents, our individual talents to those shows and work on them to build them into a bigger performance. Sorry, mate, deal's off. Yeah, this is Carolyn. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Is there some kind of issue here? Is this your mum? No, 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 no. No, no, Car Carolyn's a colleague. <clears throat> She's a psychologist. I really need your help with this. You're not having a good time, are you? God, that's no good. And I'm having a shit of a week myself, so this hold-up's really cocking me off. All you have to do is walk to the lockers to help me out. There's no reason why both of us have to be unhappy. I'm not going. You will always be unhappy, Steve, because you won't take that first step. Well, I don't want to go. I definitely think there are certain members within the, on the ensemble that really embrace the idea of provocation. And they're intellectually stimulated by the idea of pushing buttons 
And I, but I think for me as a director, like I, as I'm maturing, I feel possibly less inclined <laughs> to, to provoke and um, going, all right, what else do we have in the palette of um, back to back? And so I think the last few shows we've been exploring, exploring a relationship with the audience that's different. I would hope that the future of the company is that we continue reassessing what the company is and not feeling attached to anything specifically uh, and challenging our own sense of safety uh, and assumption of who we are. Who called this meeting? I did. Simon did. And why did I call the meeting? We need to save the world. Or oh, the mayor of the town. Okay. What am I? You know how the mayor's people to turn to? Try notes on that. So like a secretary? Like a secretary. Simon, I am thinking myself as the architect. Do you want to explain that? It's pretty self-explanatory, yeah? It's a metaphor for building a new world. But I'm in charge. Agreed. So I help people by directing them to you. You're more of a receptionist. Fuck off, both of you. where we do all our managing, where all the staff does whatever they need to do to keep back to back beer happy. Thanks guys, I'm Scott Price and you're not.